What's up, YouTubers? This is Brian bringing you the non-professional, no sponsor R5 review again. After two days of hands-on review, finally we entered the most exciting part, which is a crushing test. Yes, we are going to use all the way to crush R5 for you. Let me know which way do you prefer to crush the uh, R5. Yeah, so leave, ye, leave your idea in the comments. Uh, bear in mind that our purpose is to crush R5 uh, in all, uh, all sorts of ways, and we are confident to achieve so. So if you don't want to see, if you don't want to see the, uh, the mighty, the fantastic R5 being crushed, so uh, you might uh, su be suggest to <laughs> you, 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 you might would like to leave now <laughs> to close the uh, uh, close it now. So uh, yeah, it would be a little bit bloody, uh, uh, dirty. <laughs> so yeah, no matter how we will crush it. That's it. So uh, the uh, the the first one is uh, barely simple. Uh, so this morning, uh, it's called, uh, this one is called uh, uh, overheating or car writing. Which one kill you first, uh, R5? So uh, this, this morning, I, enter, uh, I encountered a, a car writing a problem when trying to record a 4K high quality video. Uh, it's not that long. So I guess uh, uh, roughly 10, 10 minutes. Uh, so it uh, says it says the uh, the car writing is too slow. So it have have to stop. It, it stopped the recording. So um, uh, no overheating side uh, uh, or uh, at all. So <laughs> so this is the uh, first thing we need to test. So I'm using the card. Take a look. Sorry, I will bring up the uh, exposure a little bit. So I'm using the car, a, chi a China, uh, a Chinese brand called the uh, Top SSD. Uh, the speed is uh, supposed to be 1.2 uh, gigabyte, 1.2 gigabyte uh, per second writing speed, uh, with 1.7 uh, uh, gigabyte uh, per second uh, reading speed. So ju uh, just uh, uh, to be fair, to be fair, uh, uh, top top said uh, th this is not the uh, this is not the uh, CF Express car that recommended uh, by top SS top SSD for R5. Uh, the recommended one is a uh, uh, um, higher level compared with this, uh, with uh, uh, roughly 1.5 gigabyte. Uh, per second writing speed, uh, which is a gold one. Uh, this is the second level of the of the CF Express uh, product. Uh, so, but but this one is uh, more cost effective. Uh, it has only half of the price, and uh, it it did support 4K uh, HD uh, quality. So, so that this is the uh, the one I choose. So if uh, if it, if, if it cannot match uh, some of the uh, requirement, it's okay because they did have a, a gold one uh, for, for you and it's, uh, and, and, the, and, the, and the generally speaking, uh, the pricing of this product is uh, quite cost effective compared with other brand. Uh, and as long as it works, uh, uh, it would be a good choice for for, for, for you. But uh, yeah, as I said, uh, I encountered a problem this morning. So let's see if this one can support uh, 4K or not. So what we are going to do is quite simple. We will format this car and uh, using the uh, Canon R5 to film a clock uh, with a 4K, you uh, 4K uh, with high quality. So uh, uh, and say uh, uh, suppose the 4K high quality uh, will have a 30 minutes uh, limitation on overheating. So uh, let's say if it's the overheating stop the recall, 
all the car writing stop the record. So <laughs> I don't know that. Uh, I encountered a, a car writing this morning, a car writing problem this morning. So let's have a try. Okay, we have uh, formatted, and uh, then we are going to, and then we are going to change from the uh, photo mode to, uh, to the video mode. Okay, so we are going to double check. We are going to double check the uh, format again. Okay. So as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see this clear or not. Sorry about that. Yeah. We, so as you can see right now, it's uh, 4K. Uh, let me push it. Yeah, it's um, very interesting. Uh, it's 4K, 25. And uh, and I will save it uh, twenty five per uh, frame per second, and I will save it uh, uh, with the uh, all all in one uh, or how how should I uh, read this all I or all in one uh, format, yeah okay, so of course you can so uh, as you can see I set the four uh, uh, K HQ to uh, uh, to active, which means that it's oversampling from uh, 8K. We will double check the format right now. So as you can see, there are plenty, lots of, uh, uh, lots of options that you can choose from. So right now, so uh, we can, for example, you can choose uh, 8K, 25P, and the RAW. So you can get the, uh, so this card supposed not to, not to support uh, uh, 8K, but uh, it still uh, allows you to uh, record in 8K. Actually, I successfully record some uh, short, short video uh, with this card. So anyway, it, uh, today we will choose the uh, 4K, 25P, and uh, all a uh, all in one uh, format. Or sh how should I read it? Uh, all I, all in one. So I will read it as all in one. Set. Yeah. So this is uh, this is supposed to be regular 4K. So we will using the uh, menu to to uh, uh, active the. Uh, uh, HQ uh, high quality mode. So that's it. So once we uh, set the clock, we will start uh, the test. Me. So. Okay, clock set. We are going to start the test. So I'm using, uh, by the way, I'm using Sony A9 to record this. I almost hear A9 is laughing. Uh, so to, to, to R5. You want to take my position? Let's see how you die. Okay, start. Oh, uh, by the way, we did have this test on the fan. Yes, we are following 
uh, Canon's instruction, so fair enough, right? Five minutes, so far so good. Yay, 10 minutes, still working. Okay, okay, so uh, uh, did you see that? Did you see that? So uh, 15 minutes, 15 minutes, uh, the overheating, overheating sign is on. Uh, I, I, okay, so yeah, it's, it's quite accurate, it's quite accurate, actually, mm-hmm. But it didn't give me the information how long I can still recall. No? Nothing. Okay. So right now it's uh, just a it's just a warning warning sign of uh, overheating. After after well specifically 14 minutes of a recording. Hmm. So. Okay. So, so this is too sudden. Uh, so I don't know if you can still say it or not, uh, to around the, it's only, uh, only just uh, over 18 minutes, 18 minutes, the overheating killed, R5, overheating killed. Okay, so 18 minutes for 4K, for 4K, uh, HD. Okay, congratulations, top SSD. You win the first round. So let's see how can we bring it back. So I'm, I I close the. Uh, uh, I turn it off now. So I will turn it. Our. Uh, I can feel. The temperature is there. Yeah, it's quite hot, quite hot. Yeah. So let's see the card. Well, it, it's uh, it's really hot. Yeah. So maybe next time we use a temperature meter or something. Yeah, but it's okay. It's can you can still put it on your hand? It's just uh, very very hot, but you can still hold it. 
Okay, let's turn it on again. See if we can do some uh, regular 4K. So, uh, so right now, suppose it's uh, already overheating. Uh, we uh, suppose cannot do any further. So uh, there is uh, another overheating sign on. Uh, so the overheating sign is uh, is uh, is there. Uh, we suppose uh, cannot do anything right now. So we're trying to set the. Uh, Format to uh, regular 4K to see if it's uh, to see if it's uh, able to continue or, or, or not. Okay, okay, doki. So now let's see uh, 4K. Okay, yeah. Okay, still on. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yes, the, the this is a uh, overheat. There is overheat, uh, overheating. But uh, good news, it allow us to record the 4Q regular. Once I turn off the uh, high quality one, uh, it, it it seems okay now. So I can continue to record. Yeah, it works again. It works again. So uh, it answered the, one of the question. Uh, if it's overheating for 4K high quality around uh, 18 minutes, you can you can turn it to uh, 4K regular to continue to record to record. Okay, good news. Okay, so we were trying to we were trying to feel. Uh, Let's say uh, 20 more minutes to see if uh, 4K regular has any problem or not. So if, uh, if, it, if it can still work, then uh, it should be a very good news for, for all of us.